Welcome back to Craft Computing, everyone. As always, I'm Jeff, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the brand new Velocity water blocks from EK. Now, these are the successor to the EK Supremacy water blocks that I was shocked to find out had been on the market for over six years. So let's find out what's different and uh, crack these things open and find out what's inside. So first things first, let's start with the nickel and acetal block. We've got all of our mounting hardware, it looks like. Uh, washers, flow plate, screws, springs, Allen key. Pretty much everything I'm sure you'll need to uh, lock this thing down. Very similar box design to the uh, EK Supremacy water blocks. Got some Thermal Grizzly Thermal Compound. Nice to see some good quality stuff in there. And the block itself. Uh, both of these blocks today are gonna be for the AMD mounting plates, although you can get it for your standard Intel plates as well. Uh, that'd be your 1150 series CPUs, uh, all the way up to your 2011 and 2066. Uh, unfortunately, no AMD Threadripper announcement at this point. So we'll keep our fingers crossed for that. So this is the Acetal and Nickel block. And I have to say, very, very good looking block. Um, it's a little bit heavier than I remember the Supremacies being. And I think that's because of this two-tone design that they have going on now. Now before with the EK Supremacies, the Acetal block meant it was just a block of Acetal on top of the cold plate. Uh, whereas with the Velocity blocks, there's almost this three band system where you've got the top plate, you've got a center plate, and then you have the cold plate underneath your mounting bracket. Uh, I have to say, I really like the look of this design. Very, very sharp. And the cool thing about this is it makes the system a little bit more modular and more of a create your own design uh, type of feel to it. Where again, we've got the, the plexi and copper block over here. They're also gonna have blocks with RGB and a number of different finishes, very similar to what they do with the Supremacy series. But I think you're gonna get a lot more choices with this series. Turning this around, we've got that beautiful mirror finish nickel cold plate on the bottom. Uh, very similar mirror finish to what the side plate is. And honestly, I think it's a really good looking combination. Now at release, this is gonna be available in both nickel and copper cold plates. Uh, although just like the Supremacy series, I'd be willing to bet that more finishes are likely gonna be on their way eventually. So I can sit here staring at this thing all day long or we can take it apart and find out what's inside. All right, so those standard four hex screws, just like the uh, Supremacy series. Gosh, I gotta go downstairs and get my other EK block. Hold on here. I actually have an EK Supremacy block. I don't know why I didn't think about grabbing it earlier, but here we go. <laughs> All right, so here's the two cold plates right next to each other. And you can see there's definitely a little bit of a design change going to the velocity. Um, if I were to fathom a guess, they actually went with what looks like a two chamber design. Uh, whereas this one's just one large open chamber. Uh, the fins are about the same density, uh, but I will say the fin channels are a little bit deeper on the velocity block than they are on the supremacy block. Oh, that's interesting. This band is plastic. Hmm. As long as you get the finish right, which I gotta say, that finish is pretty darn close. Not bad. You have me fooled. <laughs> and then there's the top plates, which has definitely undergone the most radical change. Uh, the most radical thing I can think of is the, uh, the float inlet jet. That's actually removable in the supremacy block. It is part of the top plate in the uh, in the velocity block. I gotta say, I kind of like that design. It makes it a little bit simpler to put the whole thing together. Whereas before you were trying to line up your your flow plate and uh, and everything else, get your O-ring set. This you can stack that just like that, put that on, and you're done. So I. I do like this design quite a bit, actually. The other design cue that I like is the O-ring is actually set inside a channel for itself rather than just sitting on the lip of the outside of this block. Uh, again, that's gonna make the whole thing easier to line up and uh, easier to reassemble. I have to say, I'm already a fan of the reassembly process. Sometimes getting that flow plate lined up on the uh, Supremacies was a little bit of a pain. This, very simple, considering they're all one piece on the, uh, the flow inlet. And there we go, all back together. I gotta say, I like the design. And box number two. So this is the plexi and copper finish on this. And I gotta say, I am a really big fan of the look of that block. Um, much more wide open than even the, uh, the plexi and copper combos or the plexi and nickel combos on the supremacy blocks. That is just a good looking top. 
Here's your copper backplate. Again, mirror finish, very, very good looking. Obviously identical design to the uh, two chamber design that's in the Nickelback, but in copper. And I gotta say, I do like the look of this copper. And there's our plexi top. Again, very nice uh, design cue to uh, put that, uh, that inlet integrated into the block. Cleaning that might be a little bit more of a pain, but again, that's gonna be under the fitting. I don't know that you're necessarily gonna need to clean that perfectly. Nice clear top to it. Good looking block. Obviously with the uh, EK foil logo there. And there you go, two brand new water blocks from EK, the Velocity Series, replacement for the Supremacy water blocks. I gotta say, I'm really impressed with the design of these. Uh, definitely some, some improvements from the previous generation, especially as far as the teardown and reassembly. I do like the single piece inlet, uh, as well as the simplified design of how to actually get this thing together. Uh, the channel around the O-ring is a really nice touch to make this thing easy to assemble. Um, Honestly, just nice. I can't wait to get these installed on one of my systems. And if you guys would like to see a full review of one of these, let me know down in the comments and uh, we'll consider doing that. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to Craft Computing if you haven't done so already, and be sure to check out my weekly live show, Talking Heads, every Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Pacific for the latest in beer and tech news. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.